Loveland. I'm um, here with Lisa Assert and Peter Everett, and uh, we're at the community, the Vineyard Community Church in Tri County, and we're here to talk about Destiny Rescue. And uh, Lisa is a Loveland resident, and I wanted you to meet Lisa because Lisa's saving lives and rescuing children. So this story is about how ordinary people can do the same. Um, I want to describe Lisa as ordinary, but she's a very talented artist, and she's got a very compelling story. And Lisa, really your story started by you saying your heart was wrecked. Yes, yes. Um, I came here to the church for a, a big event with um, 800 high school students about four years ago and um, heard Peter give his talk about Destiny Rescue and I was totally wrecked. I was in tears afterwards and um, I knew I had to talk to him some more about it and find out more about it. So that's what I did. I, I went and I talked to Peter and asked him about to get more in-depth detail and I just really felt that it was just tugging on my heart to that I really wanted to do something and over the course of years of Peter returning here we would talk more and we developed a relationship and um, we were talking one day and I'm a hairdresser at Salon Lofts. Let me stop okay. and, and remember we're gonna start back there but, but okay. Peter you're the CEO of Destiny Rescue so tell us what that is. We, um, we identify children um, and rescue them out of the sex trade. So that's our focus, and we're able to get them out, put them in a safe home um, in our project nations, um, and see restorative work and uh, vocational training, education built into their lives. So then ultimately they can be reintegrated back into society and live a normal life. So, Lisa, your heart was broken, and yes. you, you heard, be, while you heard Peter speaking, you met with Peter, and what came from that? Well, um, a couple of years later, we were talking and about there's got to be something that I can do, and um, it just came to my mind. We just, I thought, what about a, a cut-a-thon? Your hairdresser. Yeah, to raise money for Destiny Rescue and to raise awareness. Um, and then I mentioned, so yeah, then I mentioned about the hair salons that we do overseas and Lisa's like wow you know maybe we can look at raising money to support that or whatever and so then it just kind of evolved into mm -hmm. the cutathon thing and Lisa's like I've never done anything like this before it's like what do we do so we just started you know a couple of times a week we just put it together and we're able to the jewelry that the girls make it's all handmade so we we incorporated that as part of an event at Salon Lofts and it was a it was a fantastic opportunity and people that had never heard about human trafficking before or um, what's going on around the world were educated and then compelled to do something themselves so creating these opportunities is fantastic and also just highlighting the fact that sustainable income opportunities is vital for women all around the world you know and that's why you mentioned the salons overseas they've Absolutely. been established so yes. these girls can have an occupation. Yeah, so we have we've just opened our first um, salon, and it's it's as good as any salon in the Western world, and really beautifully done. And uh, Lisa's going to get the opportunity to visit and uh, do some hair while she's there. In uh, just in five weeks now, we're leaving, so uh, so that's going to be an exciting opportunity. We had the first cutathon. It was just at the salon that I'm at presently. Um, out on Tylersville Road and um, Salon Lofts. We need to mention lofts. that because yeah. um, they need to be supported Yeah. now that this has happened. Yeah. Um, so we had the first one over a year ago. It was January a year ago and there was um, a few of us, a few of the hairdressers there did it and we brought in together, there was eight of us, we brought in $3,000 and that was just with doing the hair alone that didn't count for what Peter did with his um, the jewelry and the girls that were sponsored and all that um, but during that haircut-a-thon the salon loft owner himself 
came down from Columbus and came through and witnessed it. And I believe he got very excited and yeah. started to talk to we Peter. Yeah. yeah. So we just I spoke to the salon loft owner and and uh, he just, we just immediately connected and he's like, we've got to do something more. And he was really excited about the opportunities that we do within the hair industry to empower young women. And uh, so, so now we've uh, spoken to corporate and we're looking at developing a, a nationwide um, fundraiser to empower young women, um, specifically in the hair industry. So it's really cool. Is there a date set yet? Not exact, but um, we're doing it in January of 2014. Yes. So. Yeah. Six months. Six months. Six yeah. months. So, you originated this. Yes. She did. She did. What are your thoughts about that? Because because I, I I want I want to let people know that yeah. people ordinary people save lives. Yeah. And the and I want people to know that they can help you. Yeah. It was, yeah, definitely. I'm just an ordinary person, but I just started to talk and talk about my how passionate I am about Destiny Rescue and about the things that are going on. I just started talking to some of the hairdressers, and they got excited about it, and they wanted to get involved. So it's just a matter of being a voice and using the gifts and talents that God has given to each one of us um, that allows us to go out and do more. And, and you're going to go to Cambodia in a few weeks. Yes. Through the church here, a mission trip through the church. Mm -hmm. And you're going to go and visit Destiny Rescue in Cambodia. Yes. That's the purpose of the, the trip, right? Yes. And, and what are you going to do there? We'll actually take the team uh, to a place called Pattaya, where there's over 20,000 brothels and bars in this one city and it is overwhelming um, so they will actually get to see girls that have been trafficked firsthand and see the desperation and the need and everything we talk about raise awareness will be right in front of them so um, you you have teams around the world but you yes. you have teams in these countries that go into the brothels yes. and help the the girls escape yep. Yep. and done then done provide the a safe home for them absolutely yeah i've personally done the work and seen you know young girls come out um, I've had mothers sit their daughters next to me on chairs and offer their daughter for sale to me. I've had aunties bring their nieces up to me. I mean, talking, you know, 14 or 15 years old and just offer, you know, um, in some cases I've been their very first customer, but so to speak, but at that time um, it's part of our investigation is to pose as a customer, but, um, but also treat these women and children um, with respect and, and especially the, the girls as if they were our own daughters. Um, so there's ne never anything obviously inappropriate what we do but um, it's, it's a nasty industry and it takes a gift and it takes patience uh, and time to get these girls out. Lisa wants to train the girls and do some art classes while she's there yeah. which is really exciting. Um, anything to do with colour and, and uh, being creative is also just a great way for the girls to um, let go. Let go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Be healed. Yeah. That's awesome. Lisa, tell people how they can help. How can they help you? Well, um, we we are doing a fundraising right now. We're trying to get the money together to uh, go on this trip. Um, there are six of us going, and. Um, Go ahead and say it. <laughs> you would like some contributions. <laughs> yeah, to, to, that, that would help. It would help. Because I, yeah. I have the fundraising letter in my hand. Yeah. And oh. I'll, I'll, I'll put that information. You're being modest and won't say it. Okay. Um, and, and, be, and, be, and beyond that, what do you want people to do? Um, just um, get that awareness um, and know that just become aware of it and... Um, to get in touch with Destiny Rescue, um, get on board uh, so we can make this happen and end the human trafficking, the sex slavery, once and for all, in our lifetime. Yeah. Thank you both. I really appreciate it. Good luck with everything. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate yeah. the opportunity.
Anything else I can do to help, I will. Yeah, thank you. God bless you. Thanks. Now we're cooking with gas. Here we are.